Hey guys, yeah, so today, if you guys didn't know, Kingpin is actually going to a new home with, uh, with Mo, or AKA Cool Kennels. I popped up his Instagram right here, and uh, yeah, he's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be a little big sad that he's going to a new home, but hey, it's okay, you know, I, I, I can't keep every stud. And uh, honestly, I didn't really want to let him go, but I was like, damn, I already have Vegeta, so. Um, yeah, and also I can't afford to wait another year to to stud because with all these females growing and females already ready for me to start breeding and I, I can't keep them so I'm like damn so he's gonna be really nice too uh, Even though he's just a common color man structure always comes first really structure always comes first And I know this boy's gonna have structure. Uh, I'll show you guys some of Roach's offsprings as well even with uh, the other females different females but like all of his sons you know so they're half brothers half sisters all turn out super nice it's all in the blood but i think this boy right here he's gonna he's probably gonna be the best uh looking one as well and um gonna be super nice so uh yeah so shout out to mo thank you so much for believing the blood and uh yeah gonna actually gonna meet him up today later on so uh i think right now i'm gonna do a little photo shoot with him or maybe some videography for him and uh he's gonna go to new home my rush x reaper son right here that i didn't want to let go but it's okay it's okay i got vegeta and uh, I, I hear that uh, Mo, Mo's, Mo's also telling me he want to do some business again in the future, get a female. So I was like, hmm, since we did business already, you know, it might, you know, lower a notch. So, yeah, people who do business with me that know what's up, that believe in the blood, hey, they, they know what's up. You know, there's a reason why, like me, when I, when I bought Vegeta, like, say, for example, like with Roach, Roach and Vegeta are the same, they're brothers, so they came from the same kennels. I knew they 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 know exactly like, all right you know I, I needed another this blood to start working around with the yard as well and that's that's what they do with Grinch with with Sue's like Dr. Sue's with Heartbreaker like all of the all of those good bloods out there that you guys know they do the same stuff too and that's just a little secret for you guys to spill you know having a vision and I think that's the most important thing when it comes to having dogs and um yeah, that's pretty much it. Love you guys. Uh, so yeah, Mo, see you in a bit, bro. Peace. All right, guys. So yeah, finally, uh, just just finally waiting for Mo. But actually, uh, I'm heading to the store right now. Actually, my brother went to uh, Walmart just right now. You guys, see, we're going to Walmart just to actually get some uh, collars and leash for him, just so that way he looks more professional. And I need a folder. I, I really do need a folder. I was trying to find folders in my house so that way I can put all the documents. Uh, all the paper, all the paperwork, the contracts, the the AKC paperwork that that's uh, required for him that comes with breeding rights. So all that stuff is important. And yeah, boy, boy, it's finally going to a new home and really excited. So I'm really excited. At the same time, kind of sad too. So everybody that's pretty much bought dogs for me are really happy. Either when it comes to either with structure or either with temperament. I think temperament is the most matter, uh, like important thing when it comes with selling a puppy. Uh, as you guys can see with King Pan, really, really just smart, really intelligent dog. Really like even even with Tank, with my with my friend, uh, with my best friend Dylan, even with Boogie, right? Boogie or AKA his name is Tank now. Really good dog. Even though he has both nuts, uh, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, some people would tell me like, do I need to spay the like do I need to spay or neuter the neuter the dog? Uh, Cause I'm scared that he's gonna he's gonna mark around the area, or he's gonna be aggressive, or he's gonna tear things up. But I said, don't worry about it, please. You don't have to worry about it. And Tank's family, even his his uh, I'm not even Tank's family. Uh, Dylan's whole family, my my friend Dylan, he says that his whole family loves him. That's the best dog they ever had. They they have shelter dogs. They have a lot of dogs in their in their lifetime. They say that Tank or Boogie was the best dog that they ever had. And I think that's that's the most important thing when it comes with breeding dogs, man. Just because like, I, I can't have a, like I, I would sacrifice some structure. I know my dogs, they have structure, but not the, they're not the best. Uh, we're almost there, we are almost there. I'm gonna tell you guys, we're almost there. There's some imperfections I wanna work on just a little bit with my blood. And I have it already with my females. But with Vegeta, mm, not yet, not yet, okay, not yet. We're almost there. We are almost there. But I, I want, I want a blue. I also want a full blue one too, as well. So, you know, with me, I, I would rather sacrifice a little bit, a little bit of structure for, uh, for temperament as well. You know, uh, you know, when when it comes with having extreme, extreme, uh, from my experience and my uncle's experience, sometimes like those bullies, those bullies are even the extreme of the extreme Frenchies. It's um, it, it, 
to, to make it quicker, to make it more extreme faster, what they do is they, they line breed it heavy. They line breed it heavy. Like you, you have to make it more freaky like that. Uh, that's just within the knowledge that I know. Uh, but me, I, I think I'd rather take the long term approach, like more like half, like half line breeding, like half brother, half sister. Even if some people are gonna say like, oh, that's uh, that's already like strong inbreeding enough. But within within uh, my experience, from what I've seen with my uncles and them, uh, half half sister, half brother, it's okay to do that. Uh, father to daughter, it's it's okay. But I think I prefer I'd rather do an uncle to a niece instead. So I was gonna do a father to daughter with Roach and to his daughters, but since Roach passed away, now I'm forced to do an uncle to a niece, Vegeta to his nieces. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys enjoy the content. And yeah, see you mo, let's go. Thank you, Look at that. So yeah, there's a camera right there. We can talk, whatever. It's Dude, cool. that's cool, man. Yeah. I'm gonna put your name on the day. Guys, look at that. You see cool kennels right there? Kennels, man, check it out. Yeah, check that out. Hit us up on Instagram, Group definitely. Kennels, the bully way. The bully way. God, hey, dang, sometimes so we have to sacrifice color for that one generation afterwards to get that structure in. But he carries color. He carries blue, carries try. Yeah. Sheesh. What's up? We got a name for you. Dude, honestly, I didn't want to let him go. Yeah. I know, I'm glad you did, man. Yeah. But you that that night that you were texting me like you text me right there hey like hey you got something real i said i was gonna post them that next day <laughs> nah said, we ain't gonna let you boy. do that and i said i got this boy for 30 for this much and then you're like all right and then you just locked in and then that's it you know came back out now but since i got his uncle you like his uh his uncle vegeta man vegeta's sick bro yeah vegeta's bad hey dude. it's that blood though mm -hmm. it's all in the blood but his mom is stacked too. He's oh, stacked yeah, from the mom's her. side. Definitely. So, what matters the most too, you know, when you when you like breed dogs, quality dogs, that mom has to matter a lot too, because you can't just breed studs with, you know, a, a ugly ass bitch. For real, you can't. Yeah, yeah. If it ain't gonna make something crazy. Yeah. You gotta know what you're doing, man. You know, only one or two is gonna come out okay or mediocre, but they're not gonna be crazy. Yeah, but you like them? Man, what do I? <laughs> Oh, you love him. <laughs> love him. That's what we're going to say. Good shit, dude. Yeah. Oh, you already gave him a shot and everything? Yeah. yeah, I got the papers on records and everything. What's up? Guys, cool kennels right here. Show that Definitely. shit Check again. Cool kennels. Come on. Hey, the bully way. That's the only way, bro. The, the only, only way. way. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, Appreciate you, man. Yeah, Definitely. Bro. <laughs> yeah, your wife wanted to see him, too. <laughs> but... Yeah, let's get signing. And Definitely. We'll be out of the way. business part, man. Yeah, bro. Definitely. Yeah, she knows, she knows, she knows. Show, hey, show him up when we get to the show. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because by that time, it's like what? What? Jerry about about Mark. One, two, five, three, four, five, six, 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 seven months. Be nine months. Nine months? Damn. Guys, nine? I want you guys to look at him right now. And when he when his nuts drop, he's going to look a lot better by that. But also, he's not going to be fully mature, but he's going to look nice, though. Super I guarantee nice. you that. You know, even even my last picks, my ugly picks, they're always gonna turn out badass. Did you see that uh, latest video? Yeah. That I had my last picks too. They come out badass, dude. Yeah. It's all in the blood. But thanks, bro. Thank you for believing. Man, in the blood. you know what? Have a blessing. Yeah. I appreciate you. Definitely gonna be hearing more from you. All right, brother. Definitely. Hey guys, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content and just wanted to say thank you so much, Mo, for picking this boy up. That's pretty much it that I wanted to say. And uh, yeah, man, <laughs> that was uh, that was that was a good experience. Uh, hopefully. Uh, Mo can attend the Carolina shot with me. I'm pretty sure he will. He doesn't live too far from me or from, from Concord. That's where the show is actually uh, attended at. So, guys, text me if you guys are going to the show as well. That would be awesome for the East Coast. I am really excited to get to, to, get to know you guys and meet you guys. And that would be freaking awesome, right? That would be awesome. That's going to be my first show. I'm a little nervous, but I know I got some nice really nice dogs i know i can show them and you know and maybe take the dub and so hey you never know but i'm really confident in my blood as long as you love your blood and i love my own blood that's what matters the most you don't have to love my blood or you don't have to to like my blood or get with me no i want you i respect you 100 percent if you go with your own blood that's that's the most important thing when it comes with breeding your dogs right just start it now really just a little tip for you guys and i said that in my last video but that's pretty much it 
love your own blood love your own dogs man love your own dogs it doesn't have to be about pedigree or blood no more love your dogs man that's the most important thing just gotta love your dogs man i still have toxic i don't breed them no more but he's still my best friend bro my best friend he's like the perfect dog honestly i would never i would never sell him because he's just that amazing of a dog for me to me and yeah hopefully uh i see uh, a lot of you guys at the show too. That, that's that's really what I'm excited for. And uh, yeah, man, I think I think uh, this boy that uh, that Moe's got, I think he's actually gonna turn out really nice. Just because even with my last picks, even if they don't look as good like in the beginning stage, they can always look good in their own way. Just for, like Missy's son, for example. Just right here, I just pop it up for you guys. He he didn't really look good, like in terms of his muzzle not being strong. But sometimes people are kind of like that too. Like this, every dog within that comes within my yard, they're gonna look good, right? They're gonna look good, uh, in their own style, in their own unique type of way. That's it's not just within my yard as well. It's within the top yards as well. That primarily focuses on structure. They're all gonna have structure. They're all gonna have structure. But the thing is. Uh, they they will always look nice. Uh, bitch matters a lot too. Just just, just I'm just get that out of there. I'm not I'm not gonna overhype you guys or anything. My dogs speak for themselves, right? So that's pretty much it that I wanted to talk to you guys pretty much about. And love you guys so much. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content and learn something from me and just from a little bit of this convo with you guys. And uh, yeah, love y'all. Peace.